everyone, and welcome to the game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Old Dog, and he is in Massachusetts. He is on the map Sleeping Giant, and this is a ranked battle. Everyone here is tier 8, there is one destroyer. No subs, no carriers, and he is starting off with a very good hit into an enemy. Also we have a Kagero that is coming this way and is currently detected. But... Wait, did the Cleveland Raider? Probably, right? So we'll see how much they can farm the Kagero before it disappears again. The bad news, of course, is the friendly Cleveland is not very uh, careful. So far, nobody seems to be really shooting it, but uh, that's... Uh, like, the Cleveland just keeps going. Now, the good news is the enemy battleships keep Torpedo, sailing away for whatever reason, so... Uh, even might actually Torpedo, get away with this. Okay, what have I just watched? <laughs> so anyway, the friendlies, by the way, took the A-cap without much opposition. The enemy destroyer is dead. It did not suspect the Cleveland just pushing in like mad. And the enemy battleships, after seeing the friendly Cleveland push in like mad, they just ran away. Because, you know, I could have just wrecked this Cleveland and decided not to. Ah, uh, ranked. Truly where the... Uh, <laughs> truly where you can see the skill and the... <laughs> uh, anyway. The enemy Cleveland is now facing the friendly one. But the friendly Cleveland obviously has some help here. Old Dog is here to provide some support. And he is slowing down here. His secondaries are engaging. Three guns are turning that way. The last salvo didn't do so well, but he should be able to fully get a better one in here next. The Cleveland is trying to hug this island a lot, and wait, is the wait, wait, is the friendly Cleveland reversing in front of the enemy Cleveland broadside-ish? Is um. So, uh, yeah, okay, so, so the, f the, the the friendly Cleveland low health reversed brought... Or was it brought... It reversed in front of the enemy Cleveland. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, an enemy tier pits is now charging in. So, old dog here has a choice to make. He could push that Cleveland, which usually would be a very good idea. The thing is, the tier pits is uh, also demanding some attention. Like, the tier pits is coming in here full broadside, right? So, the tier pits is actually engaging the friendly Amagi. If he helps with that tier pits, he can potentially help protect his friendly Amagi. It was unfortunately not a very good salvo, but the second race might just do the trick here. So, yeah. It's unfortunate because that Cleveland was rather defenseless, but taking care of these tier pits took... Uh, well, it, it, it was a priority, I suppose. The Amagi was not saved in uh, the results, but uh, still. Now, well, the enemy has taken the A-cap, and both teams are now equal on ships. The Cleveland might still be trapped there, so going for the Cleveland would still be an option. He could then try to take the B-cap afterwards. Of course, we don't know where the Seton and the Hawk are. And we... Well, we can see that... Oh, the Cleveland is appearing here. I was just saying we can see that the friendly Seton is going into the center, so it might just be a good idea to follow uh, the ally and help out there. Mostly overpens against the Cleveland, and the Cleveland is in concealment again. We have a destroyer that's gonna try to spot. Now the destroyer can't go straight after the Cleveland probably because of the radar threat. So the Mercury is excused for going around the long way. With the islands it will have a tough time. Oh, three fires? Yeah, that's probably a good uh, good time to damage Kong. <laughs> yeah, I think he should damage Kong those three fires there. The Cleveland, unfortunately, is... There we go. The Cleveland survived, which is rather unfortunate. But RNG just didn't want to get the juicy hits in. 
Meanwhile, the Seton is just pushing forward. Now, originally, I think Old Dog wanted to support the Seton through here, but the emergence of the, the Cleveland obviously slowed him down because it was a good chance of sinking it. RNG wasn't on his side, but hey. The bad news is the friendly Seton is now uh, getting pummeled there by those enemies. The good news is there is a broadside enemy battleship that's not the tankiest and we shall see what RNG has to say about this. Nice! It was only one citadel but it was a citadel. Of course, Old Dog has to be wary of torpedoes. The I think the Seton might have torpedo strategy and be launching here the Hawk. Uh, could be torpedoing as well, I guess. At least the enemies aren't that angled just yet. Yeah, it's not looking so... Uh, oh, it's looking slightly better now. <laughs> it's looking slightly better now. The bad news is the, the Merker... I mean, the Merker was afraid of the Cleveland earlier, so it went the long way. The problem is... It hasn't really been able to do much since the Cleveland survived. But it might be able to flip B at some point or at least reacquire spotting on the Cleveland. Yeah, exactly like that. So Old Dog is going to try to finish that. Although... Oh yeah, there's some fish and there is a double fire. I mean, the Merc is at full health. It should actually be able to just gun down the Cleveland itself. But the uh, Old Dog... Good job. Now, he's got a high caliber. He's got three kills so far. Unfortunately, the game still isn't looking ideal. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have a Baltimore losing against the Cheshire, obviously. Um, yeah, it's a two versus two. Now, the America can at least now move more freely with the Cleveland gone and take the B camp. Now we don't know exactly what the Hawk's going to do, right? The Hawk could be going here behind these islands and then pushing C. It could be just sitting there and waiting. Old Dog is... Uh, well, he doesn't want to go and sail straight north in full broadside, but he might just have to. Taking the A cap could be very vital. Because the enemy is uh, already at 820 points. Yeah, but you can see Old Dog is very reluctant to potentially show his full broadside towards whatever is waiting there. But it turns out... Well, I mean... It turns out the Hawk is broadside and spotted and Old Dog can use the islands to stay in concealment. Not the best hits there, unfortunately. But, well, he can now go forward and turn right and then be angled against the Hawk. Unfortunately, going forward here gets him spotted probably sooner. You can see there is like this gap in the island, so the Hawk will see him. The turrets are not looking this way, though. So there is that. Meanwhile, the Merka has flipped the camp and the Hawk still isn't looking this way. Oh, nice, there is a Citadel. So he's softening up the Hawk. Maybe the Merka can get... A torp in there. Now here is the Cheshire. Thankfully the friendlies have now flipped all the camps. Unfortunately, Old Dog is on very low health. He still has one heal left. It's his last. So he has been... Uh, he hasn't been using it yet. It's... Yeah, there we go. I was just saying now that the engagement has started, it's probably a good choice to pop it. Especially since he's on fire. He isn't damage cutting them on fire just yet. And let's see. Oh, RNG was in his favor. <laughs> and he's dodging the torps. Nice. Torpedoes to port. So that, that was now the just reward for his bad RNG against the Cleveland earlier in the fight, I guess. Unfortunately, the game is still not quite won. Now the enemies have flipped B. 
the Merca still hasn't really managed to do anything to that hawk. And Old Dog is getting very low here. Now with Old Dog doing the spotting, the Merc could... Well, actually, the, the smoke here was the, the Merc's probably. So it doesn't have a smoke ready. But the Destroyer could probably... I mean, it is shooting. It's not getting any good torpids. Now the Destroyer could actually just try to go in concealment and play for time. It could use this island. Lob shells over it. Torpedoes direct from I mean, the Merca is still very happy, right? The Hawk's probably not going to one-shot it at this distance. Meanwhile, Old Dog is... Uh, He's using his plane, I'm not sh exactly sure why. Maybe he wanted a different angle to have a look at the hawk. But uh, the shells are not in his favor. The good news is he's got a fire on the hawk. The bad news is the hawk has a fire on him. Oh, but the hawk is going down. Nice, there is the Kraken. <laughs> well, that was a hard fought battle. And uh, unfortunately, old dog succumbed to the enemy's fire, but... Uh, and the game was already won. So that was a pretty good battle in the Massachusetts. I mean, this is a ranked game and he got five out of six. <laughs> he got five out of six. He got a lot of experience and he carried this pretty hard. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time.